Uh, hey guys. Hey. Hey, um, I'm so sorry. My, my island is kind of a mess right now. Don't mind all the flowers and stuff overgrown everywhere. You get, you can still pull up a chair somewhere. Uh, let me just, let me just try to clear some space. Uh, uh is there a spot over here? No. Uh, there's no spot over there. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, just give me like 25 minutes with a shovel and I'll have a spot cleared for you to sit down and watch this video. Okay, sorry. It's just such a mess. I'm sorry. I haven't cleaned in a long time. Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. My island has become a true disaster. What is this? What is going on? I don't know what happened over here. It's been getting so out of hand and I'm honestly tired of running through it. And I know if I leave it for any longer, it's going to get so bad. So today I wanted to clean this up at least a fraction. Like we don't have to finish the whole thing, but I want to at least get this under control. And I just wanted to work on the island in general and just do like a good old fashioned let's play where I have no plan because guess what? I have no plan for today. Let me just go ahead and put all of this stuff away. I had a bunch of random stuff in my inventory because I was recording some YouTube shorts, so that'll all go in my inventory. And I'm probably gonna need another shovel, so you know what? Let's make our way to Nooks really quick. Ah, I just love the shopping center. It's so good. I love it so much. It came out so fantastic. If you haven't watched that video, by the way, check it out. I will link it. Hello, Sir Timmy. Hello, Sir Tommy. How are you today? We haven't spoken in quite a while, honestly. I've been using Amazon a lot. I'm really sorry. I know I should support your small business. I know, I know you keep harassing me about it. I'm in here. I'm buying a shovel, okay? All right, shovel acquired. I don't know. You guys could, you know, stand to offer some two-day delivery or something like that. Just saying, just an option. We literally live on the same island. Like, why does it take two weeks for a shovel to get delivered to me? It's kind of ridiculous. I've been telling them they need to offer two-day delivery or shorter maybe two hour delivery, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna get to work scooping up some of these. Like I said, this is a lot, so maybe we don't do all of it today, but at least some of it, you know? Oh, I just realized I have some little DIY bottles from villager hunting, which has not been going well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for bringing up a sore subject. If you don't know, which how do you not know? Um, I've been villager hunting for Lily for literally like six months. I had hope in a recent stream because I accidentally time traveled like more than a week and the plot that I had open did not autofill so that led me to believe I had nobody in my queue but I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know if that's a false sense of hope and security but we didn't even find Lily on the villager hunts. We found Prince and we found Ribot twice? Actually I don't know if we found Ribot twice but we found Ribot once but no Lily. No, Lily. Everybody's like, Raven, why don't you just get an amiibo? Like, this is ridiculous, but it's the principle, okay? If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I did try to villager hunt for Lily many, many years ago, and I could not find her and I gave up, even though I literally only spent like one day on it. And I just got her from Nookazon, so the Lily I had on Pelican Bay was from Nookazon. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to find her for myself. I need the satisfaction because I'm just gonna do it, okay? It's the principle. I'm gonna do it. I'm committing. But in the meantime, I gotta deal with these flowers because what's going on? Um, do I need to sell them? Probably not. That's a lot of work. I will just throw these away, honestly. Please don't yell at me. I was also thinking today that I should probably try to work on the layout of the island a little bit because I have ideas for what I want to do. I just don't know where to put anything. Like, I don't know where I'm putting anything at all. Oh my goodness, what is going on? I feel like since I don't have like the villagers that I want permanently on this island right now, it's making it kind of hard to figure out my layout and my villager houses mainly. Okay, if you don't like seeing a bunch of holes dug up in the ground on Animal Crossing, look away now. But this is all I got done and I'll be honest, this is all that I feel like doing. <laughs> we got all the way back there. We got a little chunk. We got a little chunk done, so not too bad, not too bad. But I'm kind of tired of this, so I want to be done. I guess I will pick up all of this random junk that's sitting on the floor. I might as well clean that up also since I'm here. Alrighty, that looks great. Fantastic. What should we work on, besties? I truly have no idea. Let's take a look at the map and cry together. Why does it have to be this strip of orange? It makes me so upset every time I see it. But anyways, here's how the map is looking. It's looking quite interesting to say the least. I really don't know what else to do, okay? Because the only permanent villagers that we have right now 
are Tangy and Boots, and I've already solidified where their houses are gonna go. Literally everybody else is not staying on this stupid island. Maybe War Junior, but I doubt it. And uh, I just don't know what to do. Like, I don't know where to put their houses, you know? Why don't we work on some cliffscaping? Because you know what? I also have to fix the cliff lookout area and make this longer and whatnot. So I guess let's get on that. I just don't know where this is gonna go. Like, I don't know where this path is leading or anything. Do I have any direction at all? No. No, I don't. Joy-Con, I really don't want to hear it. But you know what? Florida's flat anyway. So what am I doing? Why do I have cliffs on this island? It should just all be flat. So let me get to work on a little bit of this terraforming and I'll check back in in a moment. All right, so I extended this just a wee bit, as you can see, you know, the part that doesn't have the custom designs on it. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun to just do like double inclines leading up to it? I think it would be fun. Oh no, but I can't time travel right now. Ugh, Lily, you ruin everything. All right, well, inclines will have to wait, unfortunately. But I carved out this whole area right here. It's like a little semicircle, and I thought it would be cute. I thought I was gonna put the pool here, but I didn't end up doing it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of this cliff space, you know? And then like, just have a little corner down here where this incline leads up to, and then maybe have another incline going down. But anyways, I think that's a tiny smidge of progress that's good enough for now. So I think I'm gonna go gather up a few items and try to pick a random spot so we can do like at least one little build because I do feel like decorating a little bit. So I'll see you in just a sec. So I decided that I wanted to continue working on this little shopping center, little shopping strip that we had going on. This is my most recent work that I've done on this island. And we've got like all these little random empty spots around it, like this spot up here. We're gonna work on this first. So we're gonna fill some of these in. So first I'm clearing off some stuff because you see that like little indent in the cliffs there. I am gonna put an incline going down to the secret beach. So I was just moving that stuff out of the way because I didn't realize when I first put it there that it was gonna be in the way. So just uh, moving that out of the way and putting down a little path was kind of undecided for a while, but I figured it out eventually. So the plan is for this section that I'm gonna be working on, I was thinking, you know, this is a very touristy little shopping center, you know, definitely like a place where a lot of tourists are around. What I wanted to do was kind of like, not necessarily a visitor center, but a spot where you can chill and rest and there's vending machines and an ATM, a phone box, a phone booth, I don't know, just like stuff. I don't exactly know what to call this. An information center, kind of, not really, I don't know, but that's kind of the vibe. I wanted to have the ABD item specifically and I wanted to have like a little bench and like the, the phone box and that's pretty much all that I was going off of and I was just going off of vibes for the rest. But speaking of vibes, you know when you like get a really, really good snack and you sit down with like a YouTube video and you're just watching this YouTube video and it's like a good juicy YouTube video and you've got this really good snack and it's just like that's one of the most elite vibes you could ever create for yourself and I just experienced that. I chopped up some strawberries, I wanted some Nutella on it, but you know how Nutella is like kind of thick and it's just kind of like slightly annoying to deal with with strawberries especially if you wash the strawberries and the strawberries are wet and then like the Nutella like does not stick to the strawberries, you know? First off, I dried off the strawberries so we wouldn't have that problem, chopped them all up into bite-sized pieces, put it in a bowl, and then I scooped some Nutella out into like a little smaller like little ramekin dish, microwaved the Nutella for 30 seconds and it gets all liquidy and it's not like weirdly thick anymore drizzled that all over the strawberries. Oh, it was literally heaven. So if you haven't tried microwaving your Nutella to make it liquidy, to pour it and drizzle it over your strawberries, you need to try it. I'm probably so late to doing that, but it was so good. It was the first time I ever tried it. Oh my God, it's incredible. The other night I kind of had a similar snack where I did a bowl of chopped up strawberries, but I did chocolate syrup, but the Nutella is just like so much more rich. Like the, the syrup is okay, but Nutella is just like 10 times better. It was absolutely absolutely scrumptious and I had my little YouTube video going and I was just chilling. I just ate that right before I started recording this. It was a vibe. It was incredible. So my day's going so well. Thank you so much for asking. <laughs> Anyways, this was honestly a really small section. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of small sections here. So it didn't take me too, too long. Just put some random miscellaneous stuff there. I figured since it was like a little touristy area, we could also put a camera just chilling there. Maybe somebody dropped their camera. So that's pretty much what it looks like. 
not anything too special just a little chill chill spot chill zone just sit down get a drink from the vending machine take out some cash from the atm kind of vibe you know after that, I was feeling really motivated. I was like, why don't we just keep these good vibes going, you know? So we're gonna work on this like little rectangular area right in front of Nooks, AKA Publix. In my Google doc that I have for this island, I have like a touristy gift shop with shelves on the list. I do have already a touristy gift shop in this little shopping strip, but it's not like seashell focused. So I wanted one to be seashell focused. And I was like, why not? We'll just take up this spot and do that. That. my other option was gonna be a like smoothie bar type of thing and there's a specific reason i wanted to include that in the florida island but i'll save that for whenever i do build it but i ended up going with the touristy little seashell gift shop because i figured that's perfect for like the little strip mall that we're building here so i didn't really know what this layout was gonna be and it's not anything spectacular or amazing. We're just doing some stalls. We're doing some simple panels. That's really it. I didn't want this to be like too tall and like cover your view of the Publix because I really like that. So I didn't want it to be covered at all. But basically I'm just gonna be putting like a bunch of the shell items and that's pretty much it. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I kind of used all of my creative brain juice for the rest of this plaza shopping center area. So when it came down to this, you know, I, I was running on fumes a little bit in the creativity department, but I think it still came out okay. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing like way too many custom designs, like these big floors and paths. Like I just, I want to work with some grass, you know? I want to put some lizards on the floor and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll be kind of my next build will be a little more natural, you know, because I still do want to have some of those natural vibes, which they'll be there. Don't worry, they'll, they'll absolutely be there. Do you guys ever get those TikToks where it'll be someone acting out like a random like human experience and half the comments are oh i've never had an original experience and you're like yeah but like this is pretty common you know people just don't talk about it that much i get those pretty often and never have i been like oh my god like somebody else does this like i'll get those tiktoks and i'm like yeah i'm not surprised that people do this you know but the other day i finally got one where i was like what other people do this i genuinely thought it was just me it was so so wild okay so this tiktok that i saw it was someone explaining and like reenacting how they hold their breath when people walk by so they don't have to smell their walk by air if that makes any sense and i'm like i do that and i didn't know other people did that like sometimes when people are walking past me i just like hold my breath because like i don't want to be in their bubble and like smell them even though like i don't even think that they're gonna smell bad like even if they smell good i just don't want to smell them like i don't want to like acknowledge that i'm this close to you and like me smelling you will acknowledge that i'm this close to you you know like i want my little personal space bubble so i do that like i literally will sometimes like hold my breath when people walk past me and i genuinely thought it was just a me thing. So when I saw that TikTok, I'm like, no, no, finally I have come across one of these scenarios where it's like, oh my God, I genuinely thought it was just me. I've never had an original experience. I related to the comments. I related to them. I don't know if I'm mad that like, oh, I'm not original. Like I haven't had a unique experience, you know, which I'm sure I've had other unique ones that I just don't, don't even think about. Or I don't know if I'm amazed instead of mad that like, we're human beings connecting on this level, you know, even down to these minute, weird little characteristics and little quirks that we have, like, we're putting it out there and we're relating to each other and, like, it's kind of beautiful in its own weird way, you know what I mean? I don't know what emotion I'm feeling about it, but, like, I genuinely have not stopped thinking about that TikTok <laughs> this whole time after I've seen it. It's so funny because a lot of the times I'm on social media and I'm just endlessly scrolling, like, doom scrolling, and I'm like, this is so not pretty productive and i try to rationalize with myself like raven like is doom scrolling even helping you like try to think of a tweet you saw yesterday can you even remember one tweet no that's how much twitter is not like contributing to your brain whatsoever and sometimes i'll try to be like okay remember one tiktok from like this past week that you've looked at and usually with tiktoks i can remember some of them because tiktoks will make me laugh way more and like i'll get funny cat videos or something and i'm like oh yes i have to like 
show this to my boyfriend so i'll like it and like i'll think about it later but this is one of those like few times where a piece of content has lived in my head rent free <laughs> and i just can't stop thinking about it because i'm just like oh my god i also admire like i don't know what to call it like the creativity of the creator who made that tiktok or the i don't know the the mindfulness of them to even like remember it and like consciously put it into words you know what i mean because i feel like half the time i don't even think about this stuff consciously anyways here's our little seashell shop um like i said brain juices were running out but i still think it's cute it gets the job done anyways here's the next area we're gonna work on this little awkward spot this is right behind the pool and like right here here you know with everything that we're working on and this is where i wanted to include just like some natural vibes some tropical vibes so i'm putting in a little extra baby pond here and we're just gonna do trees and flowers and nature and all of like the little critter custom designs that i have because you know what it makes sense in florida you can be in a random parking lot and there's just like a little patch of like trees or something off to the side you see an iguana there's a random a canal with an alligator in it there's ducks everywhere there's birds everywhere lizards like you can just look like anywhere around you and there's a lizard probably that's basically how it is so <laughs> i thought this was a lore accurate you know what i mean anyway maybe i should just start saying all of like the weird little quirks and thoughts that i have and hopes that people find me relatable or people would judge me you know it's <laughs> it's one of two it's a 50 50 chance <laughs> okay i'll try one of them uh i love plucking the hairs on my knees with tweezers okay does anyone relate to that or is that a weird thing you can be honest it's fine i really i don't really care if that one's weird i think i have like a thing with like plucking and like tweezing and like popping pimples like i don't know i don't know what that's called i pop every single pimple i have it's an issue um i've never been able to stop ever i think i've not popped a pimple like maybe two times but i've really tried like really really tried it's been really tempting but i don't know i wish i had more ingrown hairs than i actually get because i would just love to like you know pluck them and get rid of them okay i'm gonna stop talking because it's getting weirder but anyways um this build it's so it's so great this isn't even a build this is just like a mini decoration area <laughs> pray for me because after this i i'm gonna go take out trash by myself i know i'm i'm so brave my boyfriend was really tired tonight usually we do trash together like 50 50 like he tackles you know these trash cans like in the bathrooms i do the litter box and this other trash can and it's like a 50 50 thing but he was really tired tonight after a long day and we both forgot to do it so i was like you know what go go to bed i'll do it you know i'm being so brave for the both of us <laughs> so i still need to go do that and it's like two in the morning but we'll get it done we'll get it done just like we got this area done look at how cute does it make sense that there's a bike in the middle of all of this no but it's cute and you don't question it and you say wow raven that's so good i love it just like i love you anyways here's a full little walkthrough okay so as you can see we've got our little seashell shop super cute and uh that just leads out here oh i moved that archway by the way because i thought it was more fitting over there and we've got our little nature area over here i like how it looks with the castle the fort right there on the lower cliff it's super adorable and our little I, I don't know what to call this. I, I don't know what to call this area. It's an area. Our little area. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you don't judge me for liking to pluck my knee hairs. Okay. Um, I really liked the whole hippopotamus thing we did in the last Animal Crossing video. You know, if you know, you know. For this video, let's come with another really weird, obscure word to confuse people reading the comments. I don't know if this one is too much to ask, but can we fit Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme into a comment? Like, just work that into a comment somehow i think it'll be funny anyways thank you so much again for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff because legally you have to thanks all right thank you so much again and i will see you in the next one